up everybody? How y'all doing out there, man? Um, here in Tennessee, man. Um, riding on the I-40 on my way to Hannibal, Missouri. Um, I said I wasn't going to do one of these videos as far as a trucking video or whatever, but um, I just wanted to. I'm doing this video because it's just been, I've been pondering on this thought for a while. And um, I want to share this with you guys because a lot of you guys that come into this industry, you're, you come in this industry expecting, expecting a certain thing, but it's, you don't get what you expect. And I'm, I can say this, um, I'm, I'm, referencing that, I'm referencing that to myself too. Um, but I'm titling, I'm titling this video, Low Boards, Direct Brokers, and Direct Shippers. Right there, like I said, low boards, direct brokers, and direct shipper. Those things right there, with the exception of one of them, but the other two, direct shipper and direct broker. When you come into this industry, far as decide where I'm at right now, you're going to be able to maximize your profit a whole lot compared to living off of a low board. I, I don't got anything against those guys that um, let me put that out there. I don't have anything against those guys that strictly get their loads off a low board. You know what I'm saying? If, if that's what, if that's your cup of tea, so be it. But I can absolutely say this. To maximize your profit out here, want to have a direct customer and a direct broker. Let me break it down for you guys. The company that, um, the carrier that I'm leased on to, they're not, let me put this out there, they're not 24 hours, um, they're not 24 hour, um, they're not a 24 hour carrier. And they don't have Sunday dispatch and they don't have um, dispatch on Saturdays after 12 o'clock. So if if you if you if you're out here and you want if you're over here where I'm at and you want if you were wanting to get a load on Sunday or even on Saturday, the chances of that is very slim. Let me also say this company I'm, um, I'm, I'm leased on to, they don't have any direct customers. They have a few brokers that they mess with, you know what I'm saying, but they don't have direct customers, and they don't have, you know, just, the freight is steady, you know, during the week, but, you know, I look for a certain dollar, I'm going to say that. I look for a certain dollar every week. Since I've been over here at the carry I'm at, um, have I been making my goal every week? Absolutely. You know, when I got over here on this side of the business, my goal was $2,500 every week. Have I been averaging that? Yes, I have. I've been averaging that. I've been, that's, that's been consistently over here where I'm at, man. Um, but like I said, the downfall to this company right here, they don't have 24-7 dispatch and the, um, the driver don't have access to their load board. Because this company where I'm at right here, they get all their loads that they get from their drivers. Well, I'ma say, I'ma say this, over 95% over of their loads that they um, give to the drivers over here, come off of a low board. Yeah, it is. It comes off of a low board. You know, 
that can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing at times. But let me say this, if they had a direct customer, you know, this company over here, if they had a direct customer, I can say this, that will help out this company a whole lot, man. You know, I feel as if it can be um, a lot more money, you know, for the business itself. A lot more money for the driver and the company as a whole, man. A lot more consistent freight, you know. And, and I'm gonna add this, I'll put this in there as well. If they had, if the driver had access or if, the, if your dispatch over here were just, you know, consistent in certain lanes, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just picking everything off of a load board, you know, that would, I mean, it, it, a person, a person can, the, the driver, the dispatch, will be satisfied, I'm going to just say that, man. Yeah, they will. Yeah, we will. Um, as we come into 2018, man, um, and as I continue to be, continue my journey as an owner operator, you know, it, uh, my eyes about certain things are becoming very, very broad, man, very wide. From this side of the business right here, where I'm at right now as an owner operator, there's only one another, there's only one more step, guys. And that's there's only one more step for me, and I'ma say that. It's only one more step for me, and the next step is to get my own authority, man. That's my next step. Well not get well activate my authority. I'ma I'm gonna say that. Activate my authority. That's my next step, man. And um, if everything goes according to my plan next year, this time next year, I will be under my own authority. Yeah, I will. I'll be. I'll be. I will be running under my own authority. K and S Chapman Transport will be on the side of my doors, or on the side of, on my truck. I'm gonna put that out there. It will. Some 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 people say, well man, um that's not the route to go. Well shit, if it's not, if you on this side of the road, if you're on this side right here where I'm at, man, as an owner operator, and you're able to see how business can be ran or <laughs> some of you guys, well, I'm going to say this, man. Some of you guys will never get it. Some of you guys may think that, well, I'm going uh, to just, just lease on to a carrier for my entire trucking career. That, that, that may be your cup of tea, man. You may like that. But I'm going to say this, man. It's, it's always, if you're like me and if you like elevation, You always you want to be at the top man you want to be at the top because it's all it's it, at the end of the day it's levels to this trucking stuff man it's levels to it and the highest level that you can be in this trucking stuff or behind this wheel is having your own authority man let me say this, if you go back to my old, my, when I first started my trucking, my, uh, my trucking journey, I said it was a couple of levels to this. You have, I'm, I'm, I re I'm a reiterated, you have high school, you have, after high school you go to college, and after college, 
go to real life. Let me let me let me reference that to trucking. In trucking, you got CDL school. After CDL school, you go work for a company for a little bit. After you work for a company for a little bit, you go as an owner operator. I ain't saying a lease operator, I'm saying an owner operator. There's a difference there. And from an owner operator, you go to your own authority. Yep, your own authority, guys. It's, it's a lot of stuff in this trucking industry that a lot of people don't want to tell you about, man. You know, especially if you are an owner-operator and you're one of those owner-operators that you're, you're able to dissect a lot of things, you're able to under, have an understanding of a lot of stuff compared to just being a steering wheel holder. Compared to just being a steering wheel holder, not not understanding the business side of things. You know what I'm saying? Guys, if you want to be successful in this business right here, especially coming coming from the side where I come from and going to the, to the level where I'm heading, you have to understand business. Not only understand business, but you have to be smart and wise. But like I was saying, guys, um, I'm, I'm not going to hold this on too much, but I want you to understand the difference between low boards, direct customer, and a direct broker. There's a big difference there, guys. You guys be safe, and I'll catch you on the next one, man.